This week I'm taking a different approach with the line and wash. I'm going to try to be a lot looser. Even though my subject matter is quite tight, with these three windows, two of them boarded up, So I'm going to play around with the colour and the texture, but what I'm going to do is to just try and memorise how it looks. And that will allow me to be freer, hopefully, when I apply the paint. So I'm going to get rid of the picture. And I have prepared some colour on the palette. I have some yellow ochre, sepia some cerulean blue and intense blue or thala blue alternative name and I also have some of this Daniel Smith Luna black which is very heavily granulating I'm actually going to use the hake for some of this Daniel Smith Luna Black and I just want a, a very pale grey over the whole area or most of the area. see where it's drying here so I need to wet that again I'm not going to worry about going over the edges. I just want it to be really loose. You can see the granulating effect here that's starting to happen with the Daniel Smith Luna Black.
I may also need to go over it more than once just to get the opacity of the light colour. The other option for me if I don't have a white pen is some of my gouache or white watercolour and a very fine brush. And I don't want to have the same blobbing problem as I did with the ink so it's important just to brush off quite a bit from the tip before I start. removing some of that paint where this is in shadow so it's not quite so bright. Now that I have the white hearts, I'm quite pleased with how these are working, but it feels that this has isolated this part of the picture. And so I'm going to use a little bit of white in some of the other areas to add some balance. One of the things that I can do is where this blue has overlapped, the edge of the window is a little bit lost. So I'm just going to pull a white line down here I'm going to leave that there. I'm happy with the balance of the pen and also with the looseness of the watercolour.